Erin Chikanova, co-recipient with Avram Hershko and Erwin Rose of the 2004 Prize in, Nobel Prize in Chemistry. Welcome to this interview. Uh, I'd like to start by just exploring a few general themes. When I say the word mentorship, what does that conjure up? For me, it was very important, in particular because, um, in my case at least, I shared the prize with my own supervisor. And uh, so it means a lot. Uh, I was lucky to have an excellent mentor. Um, I don't know if the word luck is proper here because I picked him by purpose. Not because I knew that uh, one day both of us are going to share the Nobel Prize, but I really searched around. And I had the privilege of searching around because um, I was a physician already, a practicing physician. And I had my own career basically paved or at least I could see where I'm heading. Um, but then I decided to change direction and to go to research. I did it already in medical school, but then I went back to medicine and I kind of flipped back and forth, back and forth, and I haven't made my mind yet. And then I decided nevertheless to try science. And I went around and uh, explored the possibilities with several potential mentors. And each of them was very clear about his ideas. I mean, let's do that and let's do that and I did that and you know, whatever is left here. And Avram was a young um, investigator, just came back from a postdoctoral fellowship. I mean, he himself. And there he started to work on protein degradation, basically just corroborated previous findings from the past. Some paradoxical findings that protein degradation requires metabolic energy. Typically it's the opposite. When you synthesize proteins, you need energy. Why to invest energy if you are taking high energy compounds and degrade them into low energy ingredients, which are amino acids? And Avram told me, I don't know what I'm going to do. All I know is that I want to identify the system that degrades intracellular proteins. I don't know how to do it. I don't know where it is. I don't know how it's going to look like. So he had some ideas. And for me, I said, wow, that's wonderful, this uh, risky way. And I said, let's take it for two or three years and, and see you know, if we are going to bump the wall, I'll go back to the OR, to the operation theater. I had in my mind to be a surgeon. And if I get excited, if, if, even if we don't get results, I mean, if I get excited about it, I stay. And it was wonderful. Avram is an excellent biochemist. And uh, after a short time, we realized that we have something very unusual at hand. And, and then it continued. I learned a lot from him. But... You know, it, it was kind of a dialogue, of an active dialogue. I, I thought that good mentors, I don't want to be proud or whatever, need also maybe good students. 